What's going on, Dolph fans? It is your boy, Dylan, and I'm here to do my final of the three quick hit scouting report videos that I was going to do for you today. This one is for the New Orleans Saints. Before I get to that, though, I actually have some pretty exciting news. Uh, I have just gotten into some talks and will be collaborating with a brand new uh, sports app company that... Uh, is fan based and it revolves around the fans and it revolves around you know content creators like myself and so on and so forth getting into chats you know reviewing uh, you know games collaborating with each other getting to talk shit all that kind of stuff so lots of good stuff there they are called rave on sports and I actually will be putting the link to those uh, to the app in my description box for Android or for the iPhone so be sure to check that out and I actually will be hosting uh, a live chat for the Dolphins Falcons game next week uh, as one of their content creator hosts uh, so be sure to join me for that as well. I will be co-hosting with a uh, Falcons content creator. And so it should be a lot of fun. Check that out. And yeah, we're going to have a good time with it. I'm actually super excited. It just happened, like literally just happened. So I'm super pumped. Be sure to check that out. Like I said, I will put the links to uh, those apps in the description, uh, to the app in the description box. So check that out. Make sure you get that. All right, now let's get into this uh, game here for, or the this scouting report video for the New Orleans Saints. Oh, let me just swap over real quick because we are going to start here. So as you can see, the New Orleans Saints, they've had a little bit of an up and down season, but they do get a victory this past week over the Washington football team to make them 3-2 and two on the season with a 33-22 to 22 margin. And as we can see here, as we get into the statistics, New Orleans had 369 total yards and gave up 373. They had 271 passing yards, gave up 242. They had 98 on the ground, giving up a buck 31. They had 6.7 yards per play, giving up 4.9. Uh, they did lose one fumble and did not get a fumble. They threw one interception, but they did intercept two passes from Washington football team. They allowed two sacks and also got two sacks in this game. They had 36% third down efficiency and led up 31% to the Washington football team. They had the ball for 23-34 and Washington had it for 36-26. Obviously, the Saints were rather efficient with their 23 and a half minutes of ball time. Um, and New Orleans had six penalties. Washington had five. Okay take a little look at Washington football team statistics uh, just to give a better idea and more context to the defensive performance for the Saints because that's obviously who we focus on in this video. Taylor Heineke was 20 for 41, 248 with two interceptions. Rushing Antonio Gibson led the way, 20 rushes, 60 yards, two touchdowns with a three average. Taylor Heineke added five for 40 yards and an eight average. Jarrett Patterson, four for 13 and a 3-3. Three, three. And DeAndre Carter, one for 11. Receiving, Adam Humphreys was 3 of 5, 73. DeAndre Carter, 4 of 8 for 62. Terry McLaurin, 4 of 11 for 46. Ricky Seals-Jones, 5 of 9 for 41. Antonio Gibson, 2 of 2 for 12. And as you'll see, once we actually get to, you know, the league standings and stuff, um, the Saints have a pretty damn good defense. Um, you know, the, the thing so far for the Saints is, is that their offense has been a little bit up and down, particularly Jameis Winston. Um, but, you know, they are certainly a threat and they still do have a really good offense. Uh, but that defense is pretty nasty. So let's take a look at some of the offensive statistics. Jameis Winston obviously was 15 for 30, which is only half of his completions, on only 50% uh, 50 but he did have 279 yards, 4 touchdowns uh, to 1 interception. Alvin Kamara led the way in rushing with 16 rushes for 71 yards, 1 touchdown and a 4-4 average. Winston added in 6 rushes for 26 yards and a 4-3. And the receiving game, they have Marquez Callaway leading the way, 4 of 8 for 85 and 2 scores. Deontay Harris, 1 for 72 and a score. So he had 1 catch 
That went, obviously, for 72 yards. Big play there. Alvin Kamara, 5 of 8 for 51 and a score. Adam Troutman, 2 of 2 for 43. Kenny Stills, who's back in New Orleans, 2 of 5 for 17. And Taysom Hill, 1 of 2 for 11. And so they do have, like I said, man, they do have a pretty uh, damn good offense. Um, but their defense is really what has, you know led the way for them and seems to be their strength which obviously is not very good when it comes to the dolphins because our offense is pretty fucking terrible so but let's add to the context and let's make sure that we look at it in full and these are the league standings so offensively though you know like i said they have had some some uh struggles especially with Jameis winston being a little up and down some of their league standings aren't so great uh, when it comes to total yards and, and passing yards, they're doing pretty good, obviously, when it comes to rushing and one of the more important stats, points. Uh, so, you know, there's some up and downs there, right? Um, but when it comes to yards, total yards, they're 28th with 1,476 on the season and 295.2 per game. Uh, passing their 31st with 904 total with 180.8 per game. So obviously their passing game is not what they lean on. It is more of their running game. And look, but, you know, if Jameis Winston could just be the good Jameis Winston each and every game, they probably actually would be a bit better in the passing game. But he has his up and down games, and then he will, you know, throw some interceptions. So... For the Dolphins, that'll be somewhere to look for some opportunities. Uh, but unfortunately, though, they are a really good running team, and that does not bode well for the Dolphins because our run defense is shit. So in the in that department, they have 629 total rushing yards on the season, which is 11th, but they have 125.8 per game, which is 10th currently. Uh, Let's see. And then points-wise, they have 127 on the season, which is 12th, and they're averaging 25.4 per game, which is 11th. Uh, points, uh, total points, 11th after ties. Points per game, 10th after ties. So as you can see, in you know those two categories alone are going to be uh, troublesome for the Dolphins because we can't put up that many points. At least we haven't really proven to be able to. And our average is 15.8. And uh, we're not good in run defense. So, you know, honestly, though, you know, I've had this as a loss um, even since before uh, the preseason. But, you, you know, all the way through, um, that's a game that I, I don't see the Dolphins winning, unfortunately. Defensively, and this is where it gets worse for the Dolphins because they have a really good defense. Uh, in total yards, they're 15th with 354 per game. Passing yards, they're 23rd, so there is an area to possibly exploit. They're giving up 285.2, but rushing, they're 4th in the league with 79 per game. They're 4th in points per game with 18.2. They're 3rd in the league with takeaways, 3rd uh, th uh, still after ties, but they have 10 on the season. They're 3rd in the league with interceptions, but tied for 2nd with nine they do only have one fumble which has them at 28th or tied for sixth but when they're you know there it's <laughs> it balances out with those interceptions so and total takeaways they're obviously like i said third in the league so uh anyway sacks they have only eight on the season though which has them at 30th uh 10th with um uh, ties included but then you look at passes defensed and they have 31 and that's second in the league uh, the team right ahead of them has 32. The team right behind them has 30. So they are clearing away just second all by themselves. And then third down defense, they're giving up 35.2%, which is eighth in the league. So a troubling defense to have to go up against, especially with an offense that's performing so poorly. But, you know, the silver lining, we hope, is, is that Tua is going to help to elevate that offense provided he can stay healthy and at least maybe keep us a little bit more competitive. But obviously we have to wait and see how that plays out. And just so you guys can see, as I always do, here are the Dolphins' current offensive league standings and the defensive league standings as well. All right, so with that, that is going to wrap it up here. Once again, just real quick before I go, make sure to check out Rave on Sports. It is a new collaboration that I am getting involved with, so I'm super excited about that. 
and I hope you guys get involved too. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but with that, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys appreciate my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. Of course, as always, follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartero. And with that, I am out. I'll see you all soon. Vins up.